What's up, y'all? It's Solo. So, I bought a Geiger counter. Now, why did I buy a Geiger counter? It's not like I live in Chernobyl. Well, you never know when around where you live might get some radiation, might get some contamination. Maybe something that you normally buy from an area you know that uh, has now been contaminated in a certain way. That can either happen through man-made disasters, like uh, nuclear power plants, or it can happen through uh, mining uh, complexes that have had spills into waterways as uh, uranium ore can then leak into the water table. <clears throat> but there are just many ways that uh, radioactive contamination can happen, and your body doesn't really care. It just breaks your body. So I figured it'd probably be smart to have a Geiger counter on hand if I ever needed it. I don't really need it right now, but when I need it, will I be able to get it? And that's kind of where I'm at with this thing is, yeah, I probably don't need it at the moment, but if there is some kind of disaster, am I gonna be able to get a Geiger counter and get one at an affordable cost? Now, what's affordable, right? This thing, I think, is close to five hundred dollars. You know, I don't, ha I didn't have to buy such an expensive one, but I wanted one that can also read alpha radiation, and that's important because there are a lot of things out there that only emit alpha radiation, and it can be deadly if it gets in your body. It can most definitely hurt you. So I went with the GQ GMC 600 Plus here. <clears throat> it's just the best uh, Geiger counter I found on the market. They have a, a lesser version of this that does not do alpha radiation. But uh, let's go ahead and just turn it on. It's gonna start clicking and beeping on us. All right, so it is now taking readings of the room. It can take a while for it to uh, get an accurate reading as it builds up. So you can't just like wave this over something. You kind of have to hold it there for a few seconds to maybe a minute. And it's gonna tell you if uh, there's anything above background radi radiation. Once you know what your background is. Now for me, where I live, I'm in a basement in the south in an area that is known to have radon. I've seen many houses have uh, radon monitoring systems, so it's very possible that we have some here in the basement that I live in. Now, I've already taken readings and it's nowhere dangerous amount to worry about, but you know, it's definitely picking up uh, something, something in the room. And uh, you really can't get away from radon if you're going to live in the basement in many places in the U.S. And honestly, where I live, it's not even that bad compared to uh, some really bad areas where, like I said, you need a constant monitoring of, of the basement. So we're up to about 50 CPM, which is um, right on the cusp of uh, what normal background radiation is. Uh, if we went outside, it'd probably be a little lower. But this is not something I really need to worry about until that number is probably in the hundreds. Um, otherwise, it's just a hot, possibly high level of n naturally occurring radon that happens in this part of the U.S. And what I like about this uh, radiation detector is it has counts per minutes. It has, um, I forgot what that is, microsieverts, USV, so whatever that is. It might be whatever's below microsieverts and then we also have uh, millirem which is kind of a I believe it's an outdated measurement but it's still good to have and eventually I'm gonna set this thing up so it, it reads off differently I'm probably gonna put the sieverts up top because that's the most common measurement that I see for taking radiation and uh, besides that I'm just gonna read the manual and kind of see what all of this is about because there's a lot of things that you can do to this and uh, <clears throat> even though I don't really need it for radiation at the moment, it's good to kind of get to know your device. So when you do have to deal with it, you're uh, well-versed in dealing with it. 
So what are some of the things you can check with this? You can check your water, you can check your food, you can just check background radiation. Say you bought something from China uh, made of metal and uh, a lot of times they're uh, contaminated with uh, radioactive metals. Um, when I was looking at the reviews of this thing, one thing that I noticed that was interesting that someone picked up on was that an animal's uh, collar. There are these uh, iodine collars that you can buy for cats. Uh, it has a radioactive uh, iodine um, uh, reference metal in it, and it will emit an, a lot of radiation. And I don't think these people realize how much it was emitting until they bought this thing and measured it. Um, so yeah, they had a radioactive cat. <laughs> And uh, I own a few radioactive uh, things out there. Uh, some of it is glassware, some of it are uh, rocks, and um, I'm going to make another video testing out the radioactive uh, materials. Now, none of this uh, material is, is dangerous to hurt me. I've already taken measurements. I would pretty much have to have the things in my pocket for like, six to eight months before I could get radiation poisoning from them. I could never take them. I'd have to sleep with them. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be careful to not rub my face after touching these those things and wash my hands thoroughly. You don't want to rub any kind of uh, radioactive particles into your eyes. And uh, yeah, we're going to do another follow-up video. Uh, we can see it's getting up to about 65 now. Still, it's, it's not that high. Um, we have a, a card here. I'm going to take this off the screen here. We have this card. Let me try to zoom into that. So we have this card that will kind of give you a, a reference to what these are. So you have normal background which is uh, 5 to 50 CPM and then the whatever C vert set is you see USV slash H I don't think it's micro because it would go micro mini and then C verts and then whatever so U is nano C verts I don't know <clears throat> and then you have a uh, micro rem I believe or mini rem and then it gives you kind of a, a baseline of, of what to look at here. So right now we're getting uh, 50 to 60. So you can see that's medium level, check readings regularly. And that's exactly what we do in the south for radon is we have kind of like you would have a carbon monoxide monitor. You can also have a radon monitor. And um, it's just good to kind of see if for some reason you're getting a large spike in radon and you should get that taken care of. Now, some of my uh, things that I've measured, I've gotten radiation all the way up to 1,000 CPM, I think 2,000 maybe. So those are the kind of things that you don't want around you all the time. They're going to make you sick. If you had those things in your pocket for like a month, you might start getting radiation poisoning. And if you kept it in your pocket for like six to eight months and... When I say in your pocket, like I said, you'd have to shower with it, you'd have to sleep with it, you'd have to eat with it. Um, eight to nine months, um, you are at the first levels of getting a chance of cancer from radiation. So, as much as uh, this device can kind of scare you, taking readings on these things, just remember how much and how long you'd have to be exposed to these things before even being in a risk category. And in the case of the readings I took, I'd have to hold on to these things on me 24-7 for like six months or longer. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video about me getting my Geiger counter. I really hope there's not like an apocalyptic situation where I need this thing. I really, really hope not because that's going to make life is just going to suck at that point. But wouldn't you rather life suck a little less and have tools like this to keep you and your family safe? I would. I don't want to be in the blind. And with radiation, if you don't have one of these things, you have no idea what things are and what are not irradiated. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, oh, I'm going to show you the manual really quick. We haven't even looked at the manual. 
So it just kind of gives you a quick start guide here and just how to set it up. The software setup, I haven't even used the software yet. Oh cool, so it detects alpha, beta, x-ray, and alpha. And that's really cool for the alpha side of it because that radiation can really get you if you and if you're not measuring for it, how would you know if you had alpha or not? Here's how we're gonna program it. So we're gonna we're gonna do this at some point. I'll probably do it off camera. I have to really focus to do all this stuff. But uh, we are gonna do a follow video where we uh, measure some radioactive uh, things out there. Anyway, take care, y'all.